Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online and as always do not forget to like, subscribe and share your videos. Um, anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be talking about arbitrary arguments. Uh, in the previous tutorial we talked about asterisk args. This one we're going to be talking about double asterisk keyword args or KW args. Alright, so what is um, a keyword arg. Well, it gives us the ability to pass variable length dictionary arguments, all right? So, uh, asterisk args, or asterisks, I should say, just asterisks, we pass a tuple. With double asterisks, which is keyword args, we're passing a dictionary, all right? So, it's important to remember that. So, it, it, you'll be handling your data differently um, when you're passing it, all right? So, with an asterisk, you're handling tuples with it, Double asterisk, you're handling um, a dictionary. So, and working with that data is different. And I'll show you a couple different ways to handle it. So, let's go ahead and just create a function define print underscore dictionary. All right. And we're just going to do double asterisk kwargs like that. And in here, we're just going to print kwargs. All right. And we're going to come down and we're going to do print dictionary. And in here we're going to pass a couple values. So we're just going to say um, one, or A is equal to 1. B is equal to banana. banana. All right. Um, and C is equal to uh, a list of numbers, maybe 1, 3. And five, there we go, and then close out our parentheses, hit return, and you see what we get. We get a dictionary, all right? So A is the key, one is the value, B is the key, banana is the value, C is the key, and this list, which I didn't close out with the square brackets, is the value. So it became a string, not a list. But anyhow, you got the idea. We're not going to waste time on my typos. All right, so. As long as you understand that you're passing a dictionary with keyword args or double asterisks, I should say, you can replace keyword args with anything if you like. Um, but double asterisks indicates to Python, hey, we're passing a keyword argument that is a variable length. All right, so then Python goes, okay, we're going to use a dictionary to handle this data. Um, let's create a new function, define names. And double asterisk uh, kwargs, and we're gonna go ahead and create a for loop for key comma value in kwargs dot items. And if you've never looped through a dictionary, this is how you do it. We give a um, value to key, or give key a value and value a value, and we need to use items. All right, so. Let's go ahead and just print um, the animal is a, and then curly braces for formatting, and its name is, and curly braces, and we'll do format, and we'll do key value, and close that out, and close out our print, hit return, and now if we do names is equal to, oops, not equal to, we're calling a function, uh, names, uh, we'll do dog is equal to Molly, that's my dog's name, cat, call it Missy, uh, dolphin, we'll call it flipper, <sighs> bug flying around my mouth. All right, so hit return. Now we see we get the animal is a dog and its name is Molly, and animal the the animal is a cat and its name is Missy. The animal is a dolphin and its name is Flipper. All right, cool. That's one way to use keyword args. And another way would be to um, let's go ahead and do same function kind of define names and then we'll pass keyword args. Now this is kind of like more of a scenario you would use keyword args, what I'm about to show you. For key value in keyword args, keyword args dot items. Um, so if we were to um, say if 
key is equal equal to dog. All right. Uh, we say print. Uh, it is a K nine. Hope I spelled that right. Um, then we come over and do elif keys equal equal to cat. And we print. It is a feline. And then we'll say else. We'll print. I have no idea. All right. Hit return, and then we do define. Oops, define uh, define names. Man. Uh, dog is equal to Molly. Um, cat is equal to Missy. All right. I have no idea. Oh, because my bad. Sorry about that. I use capitals. So dog is equal to Molly. And cat, capital again. Cat is equal to Missy. All right. Now we got it's a canine, it's a feline. All right. So this is more the scenario you would kind of use keyword args in. Um, so if you're passing, say, all right, I got a key and the user. I don't know, I was passing uh, a pass, like say a user signing in, you're passing their password through keyword args along with some other data, and you just want to run an if statement to make sure their password is long enough or it has, you know, it begins with capital or something like that, all right? So that's basics of keyword args. Um, if you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me. I'm here to help you guys. Otherwise, Feel free to like, subscribe, and share our videos. It keeps me motivated. I'll see you in the next tutorial.